guys, so today we're going to be doing another Dollar Tree haul. I'm really excited and I am on a time budget today. Um, it's 2.53 and I have to be at work by 3.30, so that's okay. I can film this. I plan on doing this. So yeah, at least it'll keep me from like gabbing, gabbing, gabbing. Um, so me and Maddie went to the Dollar Tree because, why did we go? Oh, I needed sponges, like really bad. I needed sponges and rubber gloves because we just used the last of our sponges when I did this last cleaning because Dollar Tree sponges don't last at all. So I'm going to, I don't know what's like a better value buying at the Dollar Tree or buying it at Walmart because I don't know, I like to throw sponges away frequently anyway. So usually one time I do the entire house and then I'll throw that sponge out. So I get four sponges and that gives me four times cleaning. So that's usually what I do. But I, oh, we also need to paper towels just really quick because Chris is going to pick them up anyway. But I just grabbed one Bounty Basic, um, yeah, one bounty basic of paper roll, paper roll, paper towel roll, because we didn't have any left, and I like to use them to wipe down the counters and everything. And I just wanted new gloves, and these are the heavy duty with texture palm medium gloves in pink. Why not get pink, right? So yeah, I use these. I have one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen. Um, I just had to throw the ones in the bathroom out because they got a hole in them. They were like the ones that like doctors use, so I decided to get like a really actually like, good pair. And then when I was cleaning our toilet, I realized like the act like the toilet cleaner I had didn't get up and under the seat a little bit. So I wanted something that was a little bit more rough and more coarse. And this kind of is like a little bit angled and I just like how 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 it's a little bit more coarse and I think I can, you know, be able to scrub it a little bit better. So I got one of these. You can see me. Whoa. Works as a hairbrush. Ooh. And I also picked up more hangers um, because I just like I like the ones that have these grips on them and the Dollar Tree normally never has those. They have the ones with the little hooks but I really like the ones with these so like you guys can see them with little divots so they had them so I was like oh my god I'm gonna pick up one. Um, as you guys know I'm turning this room like the closet this closet into all New York and Company stuff so that I can just grab an outfit and go instead of going through my closet. Um, in my actual bedroom and thinking like what can I wear what is like appropriate to wear to work so I have a separate closet for work clothes so yeah this is my new dress I have it in black already but I just want this in blue and it's really pretty and I love it and I wanted to get like a magic eraser too so I got a magic eraser thing I've never actually tried this but I figured it'd be good for you know getting hair dye out of the wall um, this was super cute. I didn't find like any crazy new finds. Okay, I found a couple crazy new finds that I think Tabitha already hauled. But this is like kind of cool to me. And this is like Jenga, but a tiny version of Jenga. So it's like Tumble Tower, Tumble Tower game. And it looks so cute. It's basically like a mini version of Jenga. So I'm actually really excited to play this. And then these I found because, okay, so I brought my Swiffer to work one day, like my Swiffer wet, and I ended up leaving it there, and I was just like, whatever, and we used it there to spot mop and stuff, and I was like, well, the Swiffer pads are so expensive for us to keep buying for work, so I found these at the dollar store, and they're the Brillo Basics Wet Sweeper Cloth Refills. I did not know they had wet sweeper cloths at the Dollar Tree, and there's eight in here. So this is really cool. So I'm definitely going to bring this to work so we can use this. And then depending on like how it goes, I might just buy these instead of paying like $10 for the Swiffer ones that are like a pack of 12. So I don't know. This is, I thought this was super cool. So I'm really excited about this. They also have the dry cloth pads, but we have like a giant Swiffer for that at work. So... And then I bought Jolly Ranchers because clearly I need more junk food. I just like having handy at work. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is just slightly hilarious. Um, I was trying to find those Fruity Pebble like um, thingies that I found this time. I haven't found them since, so I'm just going to give up hope on those things. But I found this reclosable bag of Fruit Loops, and I just thought this was a really good um like quantity for a dollar just to get like so normally they have like um the little boxes but there was more in here than there were in two of the boxes so i was like okay i'm gonna get this and it just seemed really cool and i love fruit loops because i'm fruit loop and then these things i found and i about died because they remind me of dunkaroos and i got two of them one for me one for chris 
and they're the Lunchable Cookie Dunks. I have never seen these before. They have, actually Maddie found them at the Dollar Tree. They have chocolate chip cookies and it has marshmallow cream with sprinkles. So, and it's actual Lunchable brand, which I'm assuming would run you between $1.99 and $2.99 in stores. Um, but this is really cool and it just reminds me of Dunkaroos. So I don't know how they are yet, but I am going to try them out with Chris. So yeah, exciting. And then I wanted, I when I like to do my face masks a lot in the summertime because it's so hot and they're nice and cooling and I keep them in the fridge. So I just wanted headbands just to keep um, my hair like out of everything. So I just got a pack of two head wraps, nothing special. Um, I always pick up another thing of hair ties. I don't know where I put a lot of the stuff from the previous haul. I don't know where my tweezers went and I don't know where my hair ties went. So, need a new hair ties. And then I always like to look at their pictures but I haven't done that recently just because I, I don't want to like add too many pictures and make my hay apartment look just tchotchke. So, but I did find three pictures. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. This one I really want to go in our bedroom because our bedroom's like Paris themed and I think it's kind of like um, French almost. And it looks like this. And I thought it was so stinking cute. I even see my window. I thought it was so cute. It's just very, it's just adorable. And then this one I think is adorable also. And I believe this is in, this is either the Brooklyn Bridge or the Golden Gate Bridge. But it's really cute and it's got like two people. I think I'm going to put that probably in here. Um, but I think this is really, really super cute and adorable. And this one I absolutely just had to had to get and I think I'm probably gonna put it in our living room and either that or give it to my mom because I know she is um decorating our my old bathroom as anchors and I found this and it says love is an anchor and it's really cute and I love anchors my mom loves anchors but I think I might give it to her just because then she can she can put it in the bathroom or do something with it so and it was like, it was the only anchor one I saw. I tried to find two. Okay. And then this is kind of a cool thing. I found this Yeti pot and I think I'm going to do a first impressions on this because I think it's going to be kind of funny thing to try out. Plus I'm like terrified to try it out. I saw this the last time I went to the dollar store, but I didn't get it. I thought it was a cool idea. And then I like kind of looked up more on the Netty pot, which is the original one checking time here we're good um which is the original one the neti pot and i was like you know what this could actually work for my allergies so and it says na nasal cleansing pot for cold and allergy relief um yeah so okay post nasal drip and for best results use neti pot all natural sinus wash packets so i know like with the original one all you have to do is um distilled water and I think certain salt or something but this is what this looks like feels very flimsy and plasticky but I know you're supposed to tilt your head stick this up and go like this which I'm like slightly terrified of and then you open the top and it just looks like that you open the top and then you lean over and do the other side so this is gonna be an interesting thing for me to try out um and it comes with instruction packet, which is really cool. And then I got the Yeti Pot um, tent packet nasal relief, the actual stuff that goes in it. Um, it says sneezing, nasal stuffiness, runny nose, post nasal drip. Used by only one person. Okay. Cool. So these are the packets. They're just salty, so they look kind of like this. So this is exciting because I wanted to try the Neti Pop like a while ago, but it was like $50 for everything. So let's see if the Dollar Tree version, the Yeti Pop, works any better. So that's kind of like my fun find. So I'm like really nervous to try it, but kind of like excited. And then I also picked up a four pack of Angel Soft toilet paper. I didn't know they had four packs of toilet paper there. We just bought a four pack for $3.99 at Walmart and this is a four pack for a dollar. Um, I don't know if they're going to be any better, but we'll try them. So, and then the fun, fun, fun things. 
meh. The fun things I picked out was I found these frozen figures and I'm probably definitely this one I'm giving to um, my Mimi, which is my stepmom's mom, so my stepgrandma, uh, because she loves Olaf, and I don't think she has this yet. And then these two, I think, I don't know who I'm going to give these to, because um, I don't really need them, but they're really cute. And it's Elsa and Anna, and they're keychains. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give them to Eden or if I'm going to give them to my cousin Caitlin. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with these. Maybe I'll give one to... Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll keep these here for Eden to play with, I don't know, and then buy some more for my cousin. Because I did originally think I was going to give all these to my cousin, so I think I might go grab three more and give them to my cousin and then disperse of these ones. So, that sounds kind of cool. And then... The last, the last two, three things I got, I got my sponges. I like the, the only problem with the Dollar Tree sponges, if you get the green, is you're going to have coloring. So like, the color is going to come off. So, and I've noticed that with the green ones, so I actually buy the green ones from Walmart or Kmart or Target. Um, but the blue ones, I don't have that issue with. I can clean everything and it doesn't come off blue. Whereas the green ones come off blue and the yellow side always gives off like a yellow tint. I don't like that. I don't feel like it's getting clean at all. Um, whereas the blue ones, I can definitely, I don't have an issue with the blue ones. And then I got a white sanding block. I always get the sassy, sassy and chic sanding block just for my nails because I've been really trying to grow my nails. And I don't I say I don't work as hard in their companies that did Arrow, but it's not as physical as Arrow was. Arrow was more like climbing up and down ladders, doing like more doing stuff where we have like set people that do um, like merchandising and do shipment and stuff. Whereas like and we don't have like a thousand boxes to open. We only get about four boxes a day. So when we do get them, so my nails aren't really being used as harshly as they used to be. So I kind of have somewhat nails. So I like to get the sanding block. And I just grabbed another manicure set. I always grab these because I tend to lose everything in them after a while. Um, but I like the ones that I can scrape out the dirt underneath because my nails do get very, very dirty easily. So I liked that. And that is all for my haul. I'm super excited about the pictures. I think I'm most excited about the Love is an Anchor picture, um, which is really sad that I'm, I don't, I don't know if I want to give it up yet. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I really like it, but it just doesn't go with my apartment. So yeah. Okay, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a fantastic day. I love you.